Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Cook with Ted PSX. I'm sorry for the del uh, for the late uh, update. Uh, I actually didn't have any time to upload on a video last week because uh, I am right now uh, helping my brother and starting a business so I am making the home page and everything and I'm supposed to be in charge of the home page and uh, the selling so anyway now I'm back here and today I'm gonna make some oat wait, oatmeal pancakes yeah that's right so wait I think I've got the milk And now I have all the ingredients out. So, I am, have 12 deciliters of milk and I will pour in half of it. Like that. And I am going to take 4 eggs. That's one. Two. Three and four. That's the yolk as well. And I'm gonna get me a towel. And wait. Sorry about that. Wait. Hey. Say hello to Yuffie. Move along now. Okay, so I have milk, half of the milk, four eggs. I'm just gonna stir it a bit. And now I will add two deciliters of uh, oatmeal. And this is uh, fiber and rich. Wait. Fiber and rich. Fuck. Oh, well, I can't speak today, obviously. Just add it in, and I will also add four deciliters of flour. Just a little bit at a time, so it won't lump. At least that I could say. And I will add two pinches of salt um, on that too. I would say it would be roughly half a teaspoon. And I will add one deciliter of sugar because I want them to be a little bit sweeter. And now when that's lump free I will add the rest of the milk. Give it yet another stir. And 
I will also add some liquid butter. It's just so that I don't have to use as much butter in the frying pan later on. Now I am gonna just gonna let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes so the oatmeal can soak up more of uh, the liquid and when as it as I said when it uh, had rest for 10 to 15 minutes and the oatmeal sucked it up and I got fried it the pancakes will be uh, very light but very uh, moisty and they're just gonna be lovely so I'm just gonna let it rest and I will see you later on okay so now that uh, it's been soaking for 15 minutes just gonna give it another stir and the frying pans uh, hot enough yes I think so turn that one down a bit I'll see it's a bit hot some butter and the pancake batter well, a bit more in that one and I'm just gonna let it fry for a bit I think that one a bit faster than that and now you might wonder why I'm uh, using two frying pans well it's just because it's faster that way I'm halving the time just because I'm using two I'm just gonna flip this one if I can yes I'm just gonna let that be for a bit before I flip it actually I think I will lower the heat just a little bit more on that one that one I will, I will wait before I lower the heat. This one's ready right now. Yeah. Gonna get that out of the way. Now I'm just going to lower that one like that and I'm actually going to try this one. Yeah, tastes fine. didn't go well and that's for if you forgot the butter if you have a cast iron frying pan that's not old enough 
And now, uh, you know, some of you might wonder what I mean when I say it's not old enough. Well, if you're gonna buy a cast iron, cast iron uh, frying pan, I will recommend you buy it in a second hand store and let it be at least a hundred years old. If you don't, that will happen. So I will just put that one at the side there so I can take it away later on. I don't want to see it. Well, that's not quite ready yet. Just enough. Get another taste on the first one. Because I'm hungry. Just another taste. And I think this one's ready. This one's ready. Yes, it is. And I think I will. Just take a plate out. And I will take this. Put it away like that. Flip this one. Heat up again. And that one's okay. I don't know why it's going so bad with the flipping today. Maybe it's because it's not my frying pans. But what to do? I don't have time to go um, fetch my frying pans. And now uh, you might wonder why, um, why I have at the three latest videos been at my sister's place. Well, they like my food that much, so they want me to make them food every weekend. And 
this on the bottom. If I can flip this one without letting it, letting it break, no, nope, I can't. Okay. Just gonna get another bite on the other ones. Just a notch. Now I'm starting to success, but not this one. And this is actually a Teflon pan, so it's not supposed to stick in it. But it does anyway.
again with that one. Nice. Try to flip this one. And the other day I, uh, well, how, how to cook it? I had an, uh, a little bit of a surprise the other day. I was actually invited to, uh, uh, to join a Ted PSX fan club page on Facebook. It's a Swedish uh, fan page <laughs> and actually it, it was uh, kind of fun to uh, act that someone actually started a fan club dedicated to me. And so I would thank everyone that's in my fan club and everything because it make it, uh, it, it oh, well, I'm all out of words. No, but I, I was trying to say it, it uh, made uh, this much more fun to me to make the videos because when you have a good response, it's always uh, more fun to make it because now I, I actually know that the people really enjoy it. Actually, this is taking a bit of a time, so I think I will make a small cut here. Okay, now when that's done, I'm gonna sh actually gonna, I'm gonna show you three ways to serve it, and I will start with the traditional Swedish way. I'm just gonna grab one pancake here, and I will unfold it if I can. Well, something like that. And okay, so I will take some raspberry jam. You don't have to use just uh, the raspberry. You can use uh, strawberry jam or any other blueberry jam or any other jam that you like. I'm just gonna. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. Really good. Okay, so that was with the jam. Now I will grab another one if I can. Now I will do it a bit like the Americans. I will add a dash of butter and some maple syrup. melt and now I 
probably to taste that one. Actually, it's really nice as well. A bit more sweeter than jam, but clearly edible. And lastly, a third way. Let's see if I can unfold this in one piece. Yes, I could. And for that one, I will take some honey. Just sprinkle a little bit. Like that, and I will give that a taste. Mm. If you like the taste of honey, I strongly recommend it. Really nice. And hey, what the hell, just for fun, I am actually going to try it with all the toppings. So, butter. some maple syrup Oops. maybe a bit too much some honey and raspberry jam I don't know maybe it will taste terrible just mix it a bit and okay let's see how it is well actually it's surprisingly good I didn't think it would be but hey Probably it will make uh, give me a cardiac arrest or something like that, but hey, it actually tasted pretty good. Okay, uh, just a little bit of milk. Okay, so that was uh, all for me today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next episode. Bye bye!